was told I would be meeting a woman with giant breasts. I was also told that I was to meet a woman with giant breasts. Yes, geniuses, I set you up. Now, can you please make up because you're driving... How about giant pecs? Could that work too, Mac? I'm sure he doesn't mind. Alright, what's up everybody? We are on Season 5, Episode 9 of It's Always Sunny in Philadelphia. Last episode, uh, I watched it yesterday. Fantastic one. Once again, this season has been such a home run in terms of episodes, I feel. But of course... The whole gang basically came up with their own merchandise ideas. We dealt with the lawyer, who is a side character that I really do hope we're going to see back some more. Although now that he has arranged, I guess, his restraining order, you know, the gang could get in trouble actually approaching him uh, anytime soon again. So hopefully he's not out of the picture for too long. But I like the other storyline that was going on too, how he's finally somebody who can actually sort of step up against them. You know, we don't see that enough characters that are actually able to not let themselves be used by them in the end or at least let's say face negative consequences for dealing with them right and of course rickety cricket is a prime example in that but there's plenty of others to name um it's uh <laughs> yeah it's been great so far seeing the lawyer therefore sort of get that that calm back on them but i have a feeling that's only you know probably going to be temporary but who knows for now, guys, I think we should just dive into this new episode at hand. And of course, if you enjoy my reactions to It's Always Sunny in Philadelphia, then you can get early access to the next 16 episodes straight away over on my Patreon page, which is going to be linked on top of the description. Go and check it out. Over there, I also react to one exclusive episode every season, as well as the bloopers. Plus, there will, uh, at least by now, there should be, I think, the Christmas special up there too, because I plan to be watching that uh, as soon as I finish, you know, season five, which... By the time you're watching this on YouTube, that will already be, uh, you know, long up over on the Patreon page. So go and check all of that out. But for now, let's dive into this new episode of It's Always Sunny in Philadelphia. Oh my God. Hey. hey. What the hell is this? Oh yeah. Uh -oh. She got a cat? What are you talking about? I got a cat. So what? Congratulations, D. You've begun your transformation into crazy cat lady. <laughs> Didn't they call that a bunch of times? The crazy cat lady? Well, actually, maybe they just said that she would turn into a crazy cat lady eventually. We're doing Predator again. You guys don't have a bowl? Um, uh, we don't have a big one, no. One for what we need, All right, be careful. Come on. These cups suck. You serious? Yeah. They're coming literally here to get a bowl for their own movie night. Okay. Why'd you guys have to both come over here to get one bowl? It's more fun if we both come. Yeah, I was going to hold the bowl. Dennis was going to stand next to me and make snide comments. Oh, yeah, that's right. Uh, oh, you look like... There's always some chaos to get into that way. You'll never get out of a jam because you got no friends. Well, you're a spinster. Mm -hmm. A lonely spinster. With a cat. <laughs> oh, dude, by the way, I literally only just found out the other day. Independent losers who were so wrapped up in each other that it's hard for you to see how pathetic your lives are. <laughs> it's like you're an old married couple. No, <laughs> that D and Mac are actually married in real life. Uh, when's the last time you went more than an hour without seeing each other? All the time. Every day. Okay. Yeah. Without checking in? He always checks yeah. in with me. He likes to have me check in, but I mean, it's not. Enjoy that movie, boners. She doesn't know anything about friendship, dude. No, how could she? She doesn't have any friends. A whole married couple. <laughs> That's what she called. <laughs> <laughs> Mac and Dennis break up. Oh my god. Wait, I don't get it. She was talking about the checking in part, but. Like, what does she mean they don't check in with each other? As in, how are they actually doing? Hey, -o. yo, where you been? What do you mean? I was getting the movie. Yeah, but you weren't answering any of my calls. I've been <laughs> calling you. Sort of over and over again. I was having a conversation with the video store clerk. Yeah, but I texted you 911, dude. That means it's an emergency. He texted 911? Well, I couldn't get in touch with you, dude. I almost called the police. The police? Oh my god. Yeah, but I thought we had a deal. You know, you would check in every once in a while, and then that way I would know <laughs> that you were okay. keeps moving closer to. Okay, I, I'm okay. He's gonna find any reason now to distrust him, I guess, to want to break up with him. I know you wanted to see Predator again, but I feel like we've seen that 30 times in the last two months and thought maybe we could mix things up. Video store clerk guy said this movie's awesome, so... The video store. Nah, he's gonna feel be uh, betrayed by that now, too. He wanted to watch Predator. Okay, and this is a big deal to me as well. It's also my night. Plus, Transporter 2. We haven't seen Transporter 1. God, they literally behave like a married couple here. I don't know how Mac is honestly looking at this friendship, because we know how Mac can sometimes deal, you know, especially with fellow males. Or whatever is in between. 
I have been thinking a lot about what Dee said, and I do think maybe we are spending a little bit too much time together. We need a bit of a break. <laughs> I'm saying that I feel like we're in a little bit of a rut, and I feel like I'm not flourishing. Damn, aka you keep me down. I guess I'll grab my shit and stay at Charlie's. Wait. <laughs> Don't do that. <laughs> what the fuck is this episode, man? Oh my god. Okay, so you'll stay at Charlie's then. No. You should stay there. Because you already said that you would. Also, I have more stuff. It'll take me longer to pack and it'll be easier. I mean, he thought would he would uh, like I thought he would kind of be jealous. If Mac would stay at Charlie's place, because we, we've literally had that storyline before. I'm responding to a missing persons report. <laughs> <laughs> oh my Plans. god. Yeah, you go do that, Mac. This man actually called in the police. Mac and I are taking a little bit of a break. I was thinking about what you were saying. You were right. I wasn't spending enough time by myself. I wasn't being an independent individual. I wasn't flourishing. So let's watch a movie together, you and me. Yeah, I'm kind of in the middle of something with my cat right now. Oh. It's funny, because you know Dee just said that to get back at them, because she's jealous, because that's always how it goes. He is in the wall. Vice versa, somewhere. too, by the way. He's in the wall? They just insult each other the whole time for no reason. He got himself in there. I'm sure he'll get himself out. Or, or he won't. And he'll die in there. And you'll have a bad <laughs> cat smell for a while. But listen, Damn. I'm going to help you out of that jam. Open the windows and get some scented candles going. Maybe get a big fan in here and then he'll decompose and... Oh my god. Nah. You should just have Charlie help you out in here because he's got plenty experiences with cats. Or you bring in the old guy who goes, cats in that brown. <laughs> Why don't you just put your trash into a trash can? I put it in the trash can when I'm ready to take it outside, dude. Okay, and Jesus Christ, Frank, are you cutting your toenails with a steak knife? Ugh. I suppose you have a problem with that, too. Ah, oh. Yeah, you really don't want to stay at this place, Mac. I need some trash to plug up the cut. Do not plug an open wound with trash. Uh, it's bleeding like a sieve. Then use your sock, bro. Oh, don't waste a good sock. A <laughs> cut. I'll find you a candy wrapper oh. if you give me a second. <laughs> These guys are so gross. Oh, my God. Well, it's acting like a cut glove. Oh, unbelievable, dude. Oh, Waste of a sock. There are so many things that are going to need to change now that I'm living here. Yeah, that ain't happening. First thing you'll learn when you move in with other people is like, you're going to have to accept their behavior. You can't change those things. Hey, buddy. How you doing? Oh, Mac is being annoying as shit. Is <laughs> that him? Oh, Mac's being annoying? That's a big surprise. You bossing me around a whole bunch? Totally bossing me. Yeah, typical. It's what he does. It's what he does. He's gonna talk shit about him now behind his back. Well, somewhat. He's listening in. Anything at all about me? or What is this, dude? Did you call me just to talk about Mac, okay? Because they don't want to talk about Mac with you. Is he talking about me? No, no, no. Tell him I'm, <laughs> I'm not talking about him at all. I'm not telling him shit, dude. I'm gonna hang up. Secretly still feels very insecure. This is, this is literally just a couple. Called to talk to you. Want to see if you want to come over to Dee's apartment. We're doing a movie night. Charlie, hang up the phone. Uh, you're not doing a movie night. You're doing a cat searching night. Look at D behind you. D, will you forget the goddamn cat for a second and listen to all the interesting things I have to say? You're being the worst sidekick right now. No, you're being the worst sidekick. I thought sidekicks were supposed to help each other out of jams. No, 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 no. Come on. Oh, I lost him. I lost him, Dennis. <laughs> oh. Yeah, where the hell could that cat even be? No. No, I'm not going to peel an apple for you. But Mac always does it for me. Why does Mac peel your apples for you? He doesn't like for me to eat the apples with the skin on it. He says the skin's loaded with toxins. Okay, well, good news. Mac's not here. Well, I know he's not here. Yeah, Mac is that. Like, Mac really has a sensitive side. Very much so. He would be the kind looking out for people like that. Hey, uh, that Charlie. Charlie's in the house. Hey. Hey, hey, hey. hey you want a skinless <laughs> apple bun? Yup. Two skinless apples. <laughs> See? Let's fire the movie up. It's movie night. Make two for me. Where's mine? <laughs> <laughs> you can peel your own apple, Charlie. <laughs> oh my god. The ease with which they'll just give Dee all these tasks. Cat in the wall, eh? Okay, now you talk my language. What I, I say? Game. All right, catch me up to speed. He's all too used to it, man. Fingers all over the wall. All right, let's focus, Dee. What's the point of entry here? That's the thing, Charlie. Point of entry. around this goddamn place, I can't find one. All right, I've seen this before. You know what happened? He's going to put on to like Modern Warfare night vision goggles or something. Yeah. I think it's stuck in there. No. It is not stuck. All right, let's focus on what's happening with the cat. Right? <laughs> it made a cut. Put yourself in the cat's shoes. 
the mittens. It chose to be in there. It wants to be in your wall, Dee. Thinking about getting some catnip, <laughs> and I was gonna. Put no, 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 no! Don't do that! Don't do that! It's gonna know that's trapped, Dee. Okay? That's gonna irritate the cat. Then it's gonna dig itself down further. We may never get to it. Okay? You serious? Let's start thinking like a cat here, all right? You know we we need another cat. That's what we need. We need another so cat. Little hole in your wall. Tiny one. It'll be cool. Uh, and then I'm gonna slip. I don't know if that's a good idea. We're gonna get two stuck fighting cats. I'm sorry, I don't mean to keep bugging you, but you didn't tell me what to do. I, I, I you want me to start care. it now? You want me to wait? I'll wait. Yeah, start it. But mm -hmm. I want to watch it with you. I mean, I will Just wait. Start the movie, man, because yeah. I'm having a conversation here. All day. That's the thing. This is Charlie's top priority. He doesn't care about a movie if there's something going on with a cat here. Hey, this place is tits. Yeah, right? Huh? You Looks did good. a great job. Thank you. Whoa, Frank, no! <laughs> oh, God, dude. The skin oh. of those things is... <laughs> He's eating the apple with the skin on it. <laughs> Get it out, though. Get it all out. <laughs> That was oh. a close call. But. Good save. Hey, all right. Close call. Yeah, you could have almost died there, Frank. I'm telling you, bro, we could fit a mattress in there. You and Charlie don't have to sleep next to each other anymore. Well, I, I, I kind of like the other arrangement, though. That was pretty good. Ugh. Yeah, the other arrangement was was not pretty good. It was, um... Are we talking about the ass to ass part again? Well, what, what, what are you doing now, dude? When I'm taking the toxic skin off. Yeah, but you're cutting it with your toe knife. Who oh, shit. Frank, that is disgusting. What? What are you talking I'm about? Throwing it out. That is disgusting. Oh my god. Why would you do that? Because you were cutting your fruit with it. What the hell's going on here? Look, Mac. I mean, like I. Honestly, Mac really is doing you a favor here, Frank. Peeling the skin off the apple just for the toxin seems a little far for me, but all the other terrible behavior, yeah. I'm gonna pop this little girl on your wall here. Oh man. You little fella. They're gonna bond. And then I'm gonna rip her out, and he's gonna come right afterward. Dude, you already know the cat is not even gonna be inside the wall. Yeah, there is one now. Come on, wait, hold on. They do a little. Uh oh. <laughs> Thanks a lot, Charlie. I swallowed apple seeds. So what? Are they poisonous? Are you kidding me, dude? They're extremely poisonous. They're absolutely oh, not poisonous. Uh, Should I make myself throw up? I would oh, throw no. up now. Man. Oh, God. Dennis is gonna be worried about everything now because he doesn't have somebody with him to look out for him. The small things. How's life with Mac? I'm awesome. It's too pushy. Yeah, no shit. You back on my team? If there's room for me. <laughs> there's always room for you, bud. Give it to me. Give it to me. <laughs> <laughs> I was about to say that this is a real couple right here. Oh, my end. You gotta get Mac and Dennis back together, okay? Because they are ruining all of our lives. What's the situation? <sighs> I got two cats stuck inside this wall. Can't get them out. Yeah, honestly, as D, I'm thinking you want to be a crazy cat lady living alone. Because dealing with any of these people, I wouldn't want any of it. Oh no, don't tell me they arranged like a... Sit down. <laughs> what? Sit. What is he doing? A dinner for them to make back up. I was told I would be meeting a woman with giant breasts. I was also told that I was to meet a woman with giant breasts. Yes, geniuses, I set you up. Now can you please make up because you're driving... How about giant pecs? Could that work too, Mac? I'm sorry he doesn't mind. I guess I should... ah! 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 You son of a bitch! Hey, oh. Yeah, could have seen that one coming. Oh man, I love how everybody in the... I don't care anymore! <laughs> Guess what? You know, neither one of you are ever going... Look at the woman in the background right behind him. She can't believe it. I swallowed some apple seeds today. Did you make yourself throw up? I tried, but I couldn't. Smoke some cigarettes. The smoke will suffocate the bacteria in your stomach. <laughs> I can't believe this episode. This really feels like I'm watching some type of romance movie. It's like, um... Preposterous. It's like, yeah, dude, preposterous. Yeah. I've been trying to come up with that all day. Yeah. God, dude, this is why you and I are, are such a good team. You know, like, I'm a man yep. of action, and you're a man that comes up with good... Vocabulary. Words. 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 Dude. Okay. I was about to say, Dan, this is the vocabulary, man. Now might be a good time for you to pay your bill and leave. Well, you're not making sense because we didn't buy anything. Yeah, actually, I, oh. I had a couple of rum and cokes. You had six, actually. Six. Yes. I had six of them. Didn't you? Yeah, I was nervous about the big-breasted lady. I, I was nervous about her, You got too. her nervous, too? Yeah, I said she woman. had giant boobs. <laughs> <laughs> I also was assuming that the big-breasted lady was going to pay for the drinks, so I don't have... Because big-breasted ladies are naturally going to be rich. I can get you out of this jam. Oh, man. 
why do I feel like the waiter here I kind of recognize? I don't know. Probably just reminds me of somebody. But it is a beautiful thing seeing them, you know, get back together. stuff all the cats in at one time. Yeah, I see that. No more big holes in my wall. No more cats. We're doing the bird thing. I got one. I tied a string around his teeny tiny little leg. No. Yep, we're losing the bird too. Watch this. Dinner time. Go on, guy. Do your thing. <laughs> Go on. Oh no, the bird is about to be eaten by the cat, of course. Wait, 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 wait. Come on. Oh, <laughs> shit, man. Well, congratulations, Dean. You have some very satisfied cats in there. Yep. Give me this. Get out of the way. I'm not kidding. Get the hell out of the way. We are about to ruin this whole apartment. I'm pretty sure you're not allowed to do any of this as you're, if you're renting, right? Come on, kitty. Uh oh. Oh, I got you. Did it. Oh. <laughs> wow, there are a lot of cats back here. Yeah, we put a lot of cats in there. <laughs> Ah, the dynamic duo in effect. Oh, they're back together. <laughs> right. They're watching Predator. You want to join? Absolutely, oh, dude. Right. Absolutely. Uh, Andrew, we're out of here. Yeah, you guys. Oh, no. <laughs> yeah. You guys, I think I'm stuck in the wall. Yep, that's uh, your problem to deal with. All right, oops, okay. I'm trying to back up, but my shirt's caught on something. This is why you don't want to be alone, D. Guys, guys, come on. <laughs> Man, what an episode. I'm still kind of flabbergasted by it all. All right, guys, don't forget to subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell, and of course, you can get early access to the next 16 episodes straight away over on my Patreon page, which is going to be linked on top of the description. Go and check it out. You can also sign up for free and watch the next two episodes right now. So I'll see you there.